Yo, what's going on guys? Today I want to talk about every player that went undrafted and signed with the team. If I miss anybody, comment them down below. And I know there's a lot of people who are going to be like, Kai Soto, Kai Soto. And guys, he's probably going to have to go overseas or back to the NBL to further his case that he can play in the NBA. And it's nothing against him. It's just he needs to show that his offensive skill set, he can be a three-level scorer of some sort at the center position and be able to defend very well at drop coverage because he's not going to be a switchable guy. So that I just want to get that Kai Soto stuff out the way because I know there's going to be people commenting that, and this isn't a Kai Soto video. I just want to make that clear because I don't know if you guys remember Yi Jin, Jiang and Lee. Hopefully I said that correct. He was like a first-round pick. He's kind of like the Chinese superstar over there. We thought he was going to be the next Yao Ming. And his skill set was that he was one of the better three-point shooting big men. And Kai Soto needs to have, at least show a skill set that he's dominant at that he hasn't shown to be able to come over. Now, let's get right into the video. I'm sorry for that. I just had to get that out, out of the way. And let's talk about everyone, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Everyone who's been signed is Ty, Tyson Etienne, Trevion Williams, Aldondis Williams, Brady Manick, Justin Lewis, Marcus Bingham, Colin Galepsi, Buddy Boham, Lester Kinoans, Tevon Brown, Trevor Hudgens, Sharif O'Neal, Scotty Pippen Jr., Cole Swider, Kenneth Lofton Jr. Is it Jamari Boya, Jalen Attaway, Iverson Molnair, Theo John, Deron Sebron, Julian Chapenny, Michael Foster Jr., Amino Muhammad, Gabe Brown, Keon Ellis, Jared Roden, Jariah Jer Horn, Jordan Hall, Darius Days, Ron Harper Jr., Johnny Juzan, Kofi Coburn, Orlando Robinson, and Sharif O'Neal. I don't know why, but this feels like it's restarting. I think it did. But John, and then John Butler, I mean, Cameron McGusty, John Butler Jr., Hyung Jun Lee, and Zig, Ziga Samar. For everybody, if you're curious. I don't know why Sharif Cooper and Scotty Barnes ended up on the list twice. So those are like 37 guys. Let's talk about every single one and if they can make the if they can make the team. So Tyson Etienne from Wichita State went to the Atlanta Hawks. And, you know, I think he could be a serviceable guy, but they drafted Tyrese Martin, who's probably going to take up that Skyler Mays and Sharif Cooper was on. So if he's going to have to battle Sharif Cooper. I think they take Sharif Cooper, Tyson Etienne. Maybe he goes on the G League team. Trevion Williams, this guy is an undersized rebounding machine from Purdue on the Celtics. The Celtics are going to put this guy at the very least on two-way contract. I could see him getting a roster spot. Aldondis Williams to the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, they need a guard. I could definitely see him staying on a two-way contract for them. Brady Manick, at most a two-way contract. I just don't think he has the athleticism to or the defensive skills to keep up with NBA players. Justin Lewis was, a, in my opinion, a borderline first-round pick. Literally has a seven foot plus wingspan. He's going to be a dog for the Bulls. Great pickup. Marcus Bingham Jr. The Mavericks got a good pick. I mean, they're probably going to see if he could be a similar player to either Xavier Tillman. And I think that's the, what their, their goal is. Colin Galipsy to the Nuggets. Fakuna Capazzo is leaving. And they're going to have him. They've done such a great job at developing guards. So I have no worries. Buddy Boham, I'm surprised he even got a spot. I don't see him sticking in the NBA. He'll have a career overseas. Lester to the Golden State Warriors. I don't know much about this guy personally. Lester Quinn Quinn ones Quinn ones. Let me hear your thoughts down below. Golden State Warriors. I really don't know much about him or the next guy, Tevin Brown, on Murray State to the India Pacers. So Lester Quinn ones to the Golden State Warriors is a guard, and Tevin Brown's a guard from Murray State to the Pacers. Both of those guys, let me know. And I assume from both of those teams, they've done a decent job of finding diamonds in the rough, like O'Shea Brissett, and then on the Warriors, Juan Scott Anderson. Then Trevor Hudgens from Northwest Missouri State. He He's like one of the better like D2 players, I believe it was. And he could be some of the Rockets just pull out of nowhere. Sharif O'Neal, I think you're just going off the – Thing off the hopes that you could be a glue guy and look somewhat like he did in high school. Scotty P. Jr., he's a, he can be a sharpshooter. I think he'd be a really good backup high level point guard. Cole Swider, another guy from Syracuse that who got signed by the Lakers. Tell me down below what you guys think of him. I don't know much about him. I think he's kind of a stretch, stretch four. Kenneth Lofton Jr., literally, if this guy wasn't overweight, he would have been a second round pick. 
He's been said to be a similar player as PJ Tucker, Markeith Marcus Morris, and you say Jake Crowder. Small ball five, could play power forward if he loses weight. Jalen Attaway, he was St. Ban- Bonaventura's dog. And him and J- Jamari Boye, who was a scoring demon for San Francisco, both get a chance to the Miami Heat. Iverson Millar, the Panamanian, goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. Great pickup on their part, I thought. And then Theo John, okay, Theo John from, from Duke. He was kind of, kind of low-key, like, Not somebody you guys probably have heard of. Theo John. Okay. Theo John is an enforcer. Okay. Best way to say. He's like kind of an enforcer and he's a glue guy. If he makes it to the NBA, he'll be a glue guy. Deron Sebron, NC State's best player. He's a guy guard the three, maybe some four, and he probably guards some twos. Julian Chapenny, very similar player to his brother who was on the Raptors last year. He'll stick around. Michael Foster Jr., dude, I thought this guy would have gone second borderline first because his ability to play power forward and center. Just his versatility is perfect for the modern NBA. Gabe Brown is very similar to Greg Brown, who the third, who got drafted last year by the the Trailblazers. So I think he's a guy who might need a few years away, could develop into like a Jeremy Grant type player, Gabe Brown from Michigan State. Keon Ellis. He's a swing man, could play shooting guard or small forward, a guy who guard kind of like, you know, an all around position. Then you have Jared Roden going to the Kings. He's similar to Deron Sebron, can guard multiple positions, and he's a good, decent score. Jer- Jariah Horn from Tulsa. Tell me what you guys think about him. I don't know much about him, so I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. And then Darius Days and going, and Jordan Hall both going to. The San Antonio Spurs. Jordan Hall is Kyle Anderson 2.0, so he'll stick around. Darius Days, maybe. Ron Harper Jr. to the Raptors. That just screams a Raptors pick. He's very similar to his father. He can actually have really good ball handling skills. He's kind of a small forward, power forward, but I could actually see him like carving out a career as a secondary ball handler. Johnny Juzang to the Utah Jazz and Kofi Coburn over there. I think Kofi Coburn will challenge Yudoka Azambuki, who's been a bum. Shout out my Jayhawks. And then Johnny Juzang, he had that run in the tourney. He should have gone into the draft last year, but he effed up and didn't. Orlando Robinson to the Miami Heat. They get themselves a guy who could, he's kind of an old school center, but if they develop him right, it'll be a really, could be Hassan Whiteside. And then Cameron McGusty to Miami. He, from Miami to the Pistons, he could be a good scorer for them. And then John Butler hasn't signed with anybody. Ziga Samar, who's called a poor man's Luka Doncic from Slovenia, hasn't signed with any. And Hyung Jung Lee, who his favorite player is Clay Thompson, went to Davidson because of Steph Curry. I expect him to be signed by the Golden State Warriors. But as of right now, he remains unsigned. And yeah, that was a that was a doozy, guys. I did not expect that to go on as long as it did. But hey, let me hear all your thoughts down below, guys. I didn't really know what else to talk about today. Uh, regarding there hasn't been much news released this early yet in the morning so i thought might as well just talk about you know the nba undrafted guys so it'll be a like honestly annoying as all hell when i have to edit this but hey bye